Good morning guys. Here today we have a Mercedes E-Class 2017 2.0-litre diesel and the customer complained saying that he's got a strange noise coming from his engine and right now we're going to start up the vehicle to show you the strange noise that's coming from the engine. As you can hear, there's a very bad knocking noise coming from the engine. Switch it off please. Now this customer, he saw we done another video on this engine with the same job but in Turkish and the customer he searched on YouTube strange knocking noise coming from engine for his Mercedes and he watched our video but because the video was in Turkish he really didn't understand much so he checked us up and come out us we weren't too far he popped in and he explained the situation well when as soon as he drove in we understood what the problem was and we told him a list of what he needs and what needs to be done and he's gone and got them from Mercedes. Now I'm going to show you what parts we'll be changing today. We're changing the rocker arms, 16 of them, as well as the hydraulic lifters. And also when carrying out uh, this job, it's essential that you replace the injector washers along with the rocker cover gasket. Now we're going to slowly start dismantling the top and show you how to get to the camshaft rocker arms and the hydraulic lifters. Now that we've took off the cover, we'll be dismantling the air filter box along with the intake pipes and all the sensors that's connected around the rocker cover and engine. You're going to have to remove the ECU of the air filter box cover. So take off the harness and remove it out of the way and then carry on moving the rest of the air filter box. We've gone ahead and removed the rest of the air filter box and now we'll be removing the rest of the intake system and taking it from there. As you can see we've removed unplugged a lot of the sensors and we're stripping it down to the to get the injectors out get the rocker cover off and I'll show you the exact problem now we're gonna go ahead and remove the injectors and try to take off the rocker cover As you can see, we've taken off the rocker cover, locked the camshaft gears from the back, but you also got to make sure that on the crankshaft pulley it comes to OT. I'll show you through here. See the right so it lines up with the timing.
It's okay. You might mark it just in case. Okay, as you can see, the rockers, and then we come to these two here. Yeah, these are the 40 ones. These two here, which are causing that knocking noise when the engine is running. Now, we're gonna go ahead and replace the complete set, not just the two, because we don't wanna change two and then a couple miles later, the others go. We're also gonna go ahead and replace the hydraulic lifters as well. Okay, we've gone ahead and put all the new camshaft rockers along with the hydraulic lifters, 16 of them. When going ahead and doing this job, make sure that you replace this O-ring at the back. It's a small O-ring, order it from Mercedes when ordering everything else as well. Now we're gonna close up everything and put it back together. Okay, we've gone ahead and put the camshaft as well. Now we're gonna put the carriers. The carriers. When tightening these, make sure you tighten to spec, the torque specs, and I will tell you that when it comes to the tightening stage. Okay, as you can see, this is also one of the rock arms you've changed, but as you can see, it turns freely. So this is in good working order. But the 41 looks like this. See how it's turning uneven? shouldn't be playing around like this, as you can see, it's just stuck at the bottom. We've tightened all the bolts for the carrier by hand, now we're going to tie it down with a torque wrench. There's two stages with it to it, the first stage is 6 Newton meters, and the second stage is 90 degrees after. As you can see, everything is now running perfectly. No knocking noise coming from the engine. And the car is ready to be handed over to the customer now.